But I realized that we need to get into some bigger businesses. Right now, I'm going to tell everybody we're launching into, and we've already been several years in, we're going to launch in a full line of regulators. So we're going into the regulator business, and I've got a consultant working for me and the team, not for me. Nobody works for me. They work for the company. Uh, I don't like people working for me. I, I like them working for the company. But uh, Brad knows a um, very knowledgeable person in the regulator backflow business, is a consultant with me and has been for several years. And Brad has a tremendous background in backflow and regulators. So we're going into both of those businesses. So the launch of regulators will be this year, um, 2022. It will be launched under two of our core brand names. So it will be launched under J.R. Smith and it will be launched under Acorn. So it will be uh, Acorn Regulators and J.R. Smith Regulators. Uh, it will be stocked in Montgomery. Uh, it will be stocked in industry. It's a commodity type business, so it has to be on the shelf, has to be available, and has to be competitive. I want to do it right. I want to make sure when it's launched, we have it in stock, we have it in MDC, IDC, we have the golden triangle working. So I won't launch early, even though the reps will be yelling, hey, I got an order, I need to ship it. Can you ship it? No. I want to have everything in place before I launch. The second and more complex product line is the backflow. Uh, there's currently five, six competitors in that, that area, but they're only owned by two, three companies. Um, and that product line um, will not be out for several years. The designs are pretty well done. The uh, innovation lab is done. Um, the testing's been done. But we have approval process and those that industry is a long approval process, several year approval process. It has to go through uh, what's called USC test lab. I'm a, I've had an MBA out of USC, but it has nothing to do with the school part of it. It's a separate test lab. Um, and that's a couple year timeline. So don't expect the backflow business that you're going to order from us anything in backflows for at least two more years two, two and a half years. So I'm gonna launch two businesses at the same time. Um, Jim Graves um, in our uh, Chicago uh, Innovation Center is responsible for the launch of the uh, regulator business, Jim and his team. So we've done a lot of engineering, we've done a lot of sourcing, and we'll have a full line of um, pressure regulators. Then um, Casey Hayes, uh, as VP in charge of the backflow uh, uh, product line, along with Brad Knowles consulting in both the regulator and the backflow business. So I'm fortunate to get Brad. I'm fortunate to have Casey and Jim. They're both uh, engineers. Um, they're graduate engineers and they know what the heck they're doing. This is not their first rodeos. And we will be coming into two major product lines. Those product lines combined will, could give us 100% growth of Morris Group over time. Uh, not gonna happen overnight, not gonna be instant. You don't flip a light switch and bring new products out. I wish you did, but you didn't, you don't. It will sustain uh, uh, my children and probably Skyler. Skyler will still be playing with the growth on uh, when he's CEO in 2040. He should still be playing with the regulator backflow. Uh, business. They're large businesses. More and more municipalities are wanting backflow, the quality of the water, um, you know, not getting sewage backed up near water systems is highly, it's just an important thing. So I think those businesses and will bring uniqueness to the industry. We'll bring a lot of patents. We always do. Our legacy is not extinction. Our legacy is growth, prosperity, and have some damn fun.